Hello, my name is Jeanette Fennell, and I'm the president and founder of the nonprofit organization called KidsAndCars.org. And what we do is work to keep kids safe in and around motor vehicles. There's some things that parents may not be thinking about. The first one is the power of power windows. It only takes 22 pounds of force to break the trachea of a small child. But the power windows we have in our cars all have between 30 and 80 pounds of force when they go up very quickly and very powerfully. One thing some power windows do is they go up. It's called a one step up. You just pull it up once and the window keeps going on all by itself. And when you push it once down, the window goes down. So in the back windows, they, these are a little different on this vehicle. You push the button down, but it just goes a little and a little more. So let's look at this passenger side window. I want to determine that if there is a feature in there called auto reverse. Ah, we have auto reverse here. Those are the safe ones. So as it hits and feels that pressure, it goes back down. There's a feature on most vehicles that a lot of people don't even think about, and it's called the brake transmission shift interlock. We call it Bitsy. I can't put this vehicle into gear because you have to make sure you put your foot on the brake before you can engage that vehicle into any gear. Try and see um, when you're testing out how safe your vehicle may or may not be. If this can go out of gear, if you have your foot on the brake, but if I don't have my foot on the brake, it's not going anywhere. Our cars are getting so efficient, we don't even have to put a key in the car to get things going. We just push a button and we're ready to go. And they're getting so quiet. And what's happening is when people get home and pull into their garage, they forget. They've got their key fob and they leave. What's gonna happen is the carbon monoxide is going to build and build to a point where it can seep into your home. And unfortunately, there's been many cases where people have died just because they forgot to push that button. In the outside chance that you did forget to push that button and turn your vehicle off, make sure you have a carbon monoxide detector in your home. In fact, if you can have one relative be close to where the garage door is into your home. That's good placement besides other places in, in your home. Here's a little something everybody needs on their keychain. It's called a Rescue Me Window Breaker. And you know, we have been talking a lot in the last couple of months about people not being able to get out of their vehicles when they're caught in high water. It has a seatbelt cutter if you need it, right there. And it's a window breaker. And the glass will immediately shatter and out I can go. Yes, there's another danger in these vehicles that we're driving around today. And that has to do with the fact that if you get stuck in the trunk, there might not be a way out. But if you're in a vehicle that's 2002 or newer, there is a glow-in-the-dark trunk release. If you get caught in the trunk, just push it or pull it, one pull or pop, out you go and you'll be safe. Be prepared. Make sure you check these things ahead of time so then your children won't be hurt by the power of a vehicle. <laughs>